Welcome. In front of me is a Motorola Moto G Pure, and today I'll show you a couple tweaks and the tricks you can do on this phone. So to get started, let's open up our settings. And from here, we're going to navigate into the display where we will find several options that I want to showcase. Not wallpapers, display. There we go. And let's start off with the dark theme. So right here we have a switch for dark mode, but you can also tap on a text and you have option to enable it based on a schedule. So turn on at a custom time or sunset to sunrise, which if I toggle it on right now, it should turn on. Normally, I think it should already turn on, but maybe just because I'm turning it on right now after the time, it just doesn't turn on. I'm not exactly sure, but typically, uh, these based on like the previous phone that I tested it on, uh, also Motorola, it did enable at 7 p.m., which is, well, eight minutes past. So maybe that's why it didn't, but the previous one did. So maybe next day it will start at, uh, at 7. Now, anyway, moving on to the next option, it's going to be the peak display, which you can find right somewhere here. I already passed it. Oh, there we go. Peak display. As you can see, it's turned off. This is kind of like a uh, cheaper version of always on display. So when, when you enable it, you can also select learn more and this will give you a quick guide on how to use it. So you can tap on the display, it will light it up, give you some basic notifications uh, and informations. You can also uh, easily unlock it when it's lit up, you just swipe up and it should automatically also unlock. Uh, see more details, so you can select whatever notification you have and it will give you more, more information about it. And as well, you can also open that application up by swiping up on that notification and also take action, which I guess you can also reply from here, which that's interesting. I don't think I can show this off. Let's see. Now, it doesn't really work well when it's laying on a table. As you can see, when you lift it up, it works. So there is a Gmail notification. You can tap on it. It gives me a bunch of information about like different emails that I have. I can uh, view all, I can dismiss. So I can choose whichever one I want. If I swipe up on it without choosing one of them, it will take me to Gmail, as you can see. It's a pretty nice option. Now, moving on to another option. It's going to be a little bit less glamorous than this one. It's the colors, and this allows you to choose uh, or change uh, the vibrance, uh, vibrance of colors on your display. So let's go to the display section, colors, and here you can see we have saturated and we have natural. And you can flip between those and as you can see, there is a difference between these two images, how they look like. And now camera isn't really picking it up all that much, uh, but the white background around, so everything that is like fully white, actually appears a little bit more yellowish with the natural tones enabled. And additionally, you can also change the temperature right here to something else. So you can obviously customize the display look a little bit to fit a little bit more your needs, obviously. Now, anyway, moving on to another option. It's going to be the attentive display. Now, I'm not exactly sure where the settings is, is tucked away. So I'll just simply do a search of it in the main settings page. So attentive display, and you can see it comes up. I'm gonna uh, tap on it. And I think this is by default turned off actually. But what this will do is keep the display on as long as you are looking at it. So you could change the timeout of your display to be something like five seconds. But as long as you're looking at the device, uh, it will be using the camera right here to check and detect if you're looking at it. And as long as you are, it keeps the display lit up. The moment, for instance, you lay down your device and it stops detecting your face, it will start that countdown for the timeout. So five seconds later, boom, the screen is locked. Pretty nice if you, for instance, are reading something uh, and your device is constantly timing out, you can enable this and it should be then co constantly on as long as you are actually looking at the text or whatever it is that you were looking at. 
Now moving on to another option, it's going to be a last one as well. It's the dynamic apps. I'm not exactly sure how to call it. I don't, I, I don't know if there is an actual name for it, but basically when you have the dock at the bottom with all your apps that don't really change from page to page, you can remove apps from here. And as you can see, it just got substituted with something else, which in this case, it's settings. This is the last app that I have used. So it's showing me the literally last app that I have opened. But if I open up something else, I should have changed it to Facebook right now. Let's try that again. Come on. Are you kidding me? Normally, it should just swap between them. I'm not exactly sure why it's not. It is working, and I know how it works exactly. Uh, but normally, when you open up apps that aren't necessarily on your home screen, it will show them up right here. They will just keep swapping. For some reason, it's bugged out and it doesn't want to add, like it doesn't want to change them, as you can obviously see. Like it, it context should be right here. Settings should shift to the to the right. Uh, so just take my word on it. That's how it works or how it's supposed to work. I have done this uh, this one a couple times, so I literally just had a different Motorola in here that did have the same option and it worked. Not exactly sure why, maybe simple reboot will fix it. Uh, but at the moment, as you can see, it's kind of stuck and it's not adapting or changing uh, to the most recent application, which is what it's supposed to be doing. But anyway, with this being said, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.